Cook on Sunday, eat till Thursday. I'm Allie and you're watching Economy Bites. So what we're doing now is going to a local pizza restaurant two blocks away where they have really great dough. It's a great alternative if you don't have any flour or, you know, you just need a little shortcut. Can I buy just like a ball of dough? Great. It's four, right? It is already made, already set up, all ready to go. All we gotta do is put our toppings on it. You have my key. So today we're gonna be making a Brooklyn style pizza. And Oh, did I just hear the doorbell ring? Marty Markowitz, Brooklyn Borough President? Hello, Marty. I just happened to be in, in Sunset Park. Oh, and so you and came I by. I know you're cooking. And one look at me, and you know I'm ready. I'm uh, here, okay? So you're going to come ready. by and help us make our pizza? I'm going to help oh, you. perfect. People watch me. It's not fattening. How are your knife skills? A cook I'll never be, but you tell me what you want me to do. And here I have a pound of fresh, local-made mozzarella. Just slice up like three-fourths of it. We'll take off, off this wrap, I believe. Am I yes, right? Yes, you're right. That would help. I mean, right. you should be the food. But not a. But I am not a cook. This recipe is super easy. Even you're going to be able to recreate it at home. Oh, sure. <laughs> Jamie, I can't wait to cook for you. I'm going to preheat the oven to 450 degrees. As thin as you can get them. We only need Beautiful. like three fourths of it. You're not bad, huh? Not bad. Got the makings of a great cook. You grew up in Brooklyn, right? Grew up in Crown Heights. All right. I lived from Flappish most of my adult life, then moved to Park Slope, and I'm a new resident of Windsor Terrace. Oh, there you go. So you live kind of near us. Yeah, not far at not all. Not far at all. We actually have a very nice kitchen. Uh, both my uses. wife and I, we look at it. <laughs> and But we're, we're, uh, she, my wife promised me that she's going to try and now I'm gonna to try too. You're gonna to have a recipe for it. I'll have a recipe for it. She can for my watch wife. our show. Okay, so well, listen. Perfect. What we're gonna do now is take this flour. Oh, perfect. Right. Oh. Got it all ready. As ready the made Italians for us. say, bellissima. 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 And using our knuckles, flatten it out. Wow. So Impressive. I know. And we're gonna try and just make it as thin as possible so that it's really Brooklyn style pizza, right? Brooklyn is known for our pizza. I There's know. no question about it. Well, for all of our viewers who aren't from Brooklyn, this will be a substitute pizza oh, great. until you eventually get here because obviously See, this we've is got, the place to be. We've got so many places in Brooklyn and Manhattan, all they got are places by the name of Ray's. See, with here, <laughs> we, we don't need Ray's. to call every pizza place Ray's. Original Ray's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a can of crushed tomatoes, a spoon, a circle in the middle here. Okay, beautiful. With some room on the side. I didn't even have to tell you to do that. Oh, you did sure, it. of course. You already know. <laughs> I'm a natural. You already know. And just place it. If you were adding like pepperoni or whatever else you wanted, mm -hmm. this would be the moment to do that. Pretty much margarita. No, they call exactly. It margarita. Exactly. Because I don't have a pizza stone. It's kind of difficult to get the pizza to the oven. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do instead of leaving it in like pizza style, I'm going to roll it up. Oh. Because that's an easy way to get it to the oven. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of olive oil. Oh, nice. I know, this is safe. I don't have all the kitchen gadgets because, wow. you know, I'm living on a budget. We've got to find creative ways to get around it. Innovative. Innovative Brook. that's the, mm -hmm. you know, the Brooklyn... Chutzpah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> what can be bad? The ingredients are all that we love. Okay, I don't want to break it, so that's the that's problem. Good. You got okay. it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Okay. Bravo. The olive oil is healthy. It's good for your heart. So they say. We're gonna put it in the oven for about 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Was then that the easiest manja. thing you ever did? Manja and essen. Essen is Yiddish Enjoy. for eat. Oh. eat. Enjoy. <laughs> manja. But you can't go through life and not pick up a little bit of Yiddish in, in Brooklyn and Spanish in Brooklyn and a lot of other languages. Right. While our pizza's cooking, we were hoping you could show us how to make the most famous Brooklyn drink, an egg cream. Egg cream. The key to making a good egg cream is the fizz quality of the seltzer. The way we start it is that I put the chocolate syrup in first. Okay, then we put in the milk. Three. Now I need a long spoon. A long spoon. Now normally I would be fizzing this up. Now what we do is put a little more milk in and a little more of this. Drop more to give the head on top. The head on top must be as white as you see this and foamy. Then you know you've made a successful egg cream. Aha. And we have made a successful egg cream. I've had a little experience at this in my life. Do you have an egg cream mustache? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> the ideal meal for me would be pizza and an egg cream. What could be better? What could be better? <laughs> Except maybe a cheesecake or a red velvet cake. Anyway, 
We know that there's something coming up fancy, special in Brooklyn mm -hmm. this week. Dine in Brooklyn, Dine which in Brooklyn. is Brooklyn's version of Restaurant Week. There are more restaurants that participate in our Restaurant Week than the Manhattan Restaurant Week. For over 200 restaurants each year and again this year from March 15th to March 25th. Today it's Friday, March 12th, which means you can start making reservations now for next Monday, March 15th. You can find the information out on our website, which is brooklyn-usa.org or visitbrooklyn.org. I encourage you to make your reservations, $25 for a three-course meal for dinner, $20.10 because it's 2010, mm -hmm. uh, for lunch or brunch, and we have many restaurants that charge two dinners for $25. The foodies, I know you're out there. We're out here. And we wait for this. There are a lot of us out and here. And incidentally, as Borough President, I declare March 15th to the 25th calorie free. Yay! That's it's, the power of Borough President, I hereby declare. Everything is fat free for a whole week. <laughs> That's it. But thank you for inviting me. Thank you so I'm much for much coming. It very was a appreciative. pleasure, a pleasure. Very appreciative. So we were so happy to have Brooklyn Borough President Marty Markowitz on the show with us today. He had to do some pressing borough business. And good news, our pizza's ready. So let's take it out of the oven and see how it looks. Lots of good cheese in here. Let's take a cheesy bite. This crust is thin and crunchy, just the way Brooklyn style pizza should be. Cheese is perfect, the tomatoes are perfect. Mmm. Thank you to Marty for coming and cooking with us. Marty, got any last words? For this weekend that I'm here, you're our Brooklyn official online cooking show. Thank you. Economy Bites, I love it. It's Brooklyn, watch it please. <laughs> <laughs> Cook on Sunday, eat till Thursday. I'm Allie and I'll see you next week. So many restaurants are opening up in Brooklyn and some of our restaurants in Brooklyn opened their second location in Manhattan, which I like very much. Brooklyn is the new Manhattan. <laughs> well, right? not, not the new, we're Brooklyn. We're Brooklyn. <laughs> it's its own Manhattan thing. may be the new Brooklyn, but. That's true. <laughs>